No time for smashing. So shiny. <laughs> Big mummy now. He is not as fast as the flesh. No. I'm shocked. <laughs> no one is as fast as the flesh. Professor Zoom. On the of the roster that we have. Why well, can't I play as Professor Zoom? Oh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because he's like a 40 year old man. Right. And it's generally not in the Young Justice list. <laughs> why not? Let's rewrite it. <laughs> we'll do that in the hundred and. In the hundred and four, he, he, he is the Young Justice. Yeah. Young Justice is what he, instead of calling himself Professor Sue, he calls himself Young Justice. And everyone is very confused. And the Young Justice team are called Zoom. I hope we get to play get this team here. rather than the other team. I don't want to play as Aquilad again. Why does Nightwing think he's Scorpion? He loves more combat. We all love more combat. I love to get strong. <laughs> I'm a fan. You're more of just a, you like it as a friend. Exactly. If you're both still unmarried at 40, maybe you'll start okay. dating it. I'll get married to the Mortal Kombat theme tune. <laughs> as long as you don't get married to the Mortal Kombat theme tune. Mm. What does that mean? Why does he hate he monkeys? What? Is that Superboy saying? Yeah, he said. Why yeah. does he hate monkeys? Oh. When's he ever had to fight what? monkeys? Unless he's fight uh, Groot, he's technically an ape, not a monkey. He doesn't fight any fucking the monkeys in this. Is that maybe that's maybe that's his quote from the TV series? He's always saying, "I hate monkeys." No, he's not. Well, excuse me, princess. I, I hate, hate monkeys. monkeys. Yeah, it's classic Superboy, he says it all the time. Well, that's just what he refers to as humans, because he looks as one of monkeys. Maybe. It's definitely racism. <laughs> Kryptonian racism, the best kind. Good. Kryptonian racism is generally followed by genocide. Ah. Side. Order of... Onion rings. <laughs> Some getting hungry, are they? Not really. Someone's had some mini baby bells. Well, good for someone. Someone's got to make a lasagna like that. Because he's the living embodiment of Garfield. Garfield don't like mummies. Someone's going to have a cheese sandwich like that because he's the living embodiment of cheap. <laughs> If you add a little bit of wasabi sauce to that cheese sandwich, then it's it is inedible. <laughs> <laughs> One time I bought a bottle of reggae reggae sauce. My god, too powerful, man. Too powerful. 
I just put like a drop on something. They'd be like, I'm on fire! Just can't handle the reggae, reggae sauce. You need to get reggae sauce, not reggae, reggae. Reggae. You need to get grandma's old reggae sauce. Need to get Judge Dredd's reggae sauce. <laughs> and not the cool Judge Dredd's. <laughs> the racist white reggae guy. Oh yeah. Okay. If that was a real person. I think that was a real person. I presume that was a real person. It appeared to be lots of real people. Yeah, there was lots of made up people as well. Right? Yeah, I know. Now yeah, we got old concern. <sighs> uh, do we? Yeah. Yes. Oh, maybe if you could take the left and I could take the right, this would be quicker. But no, we've just got to go together. No, no split screen. It's expensive. It's difficult to program. We know how to program it. No, no Mr. No Superman. <laughs> Why did you turn into Jar Jar? I can't do voices. No, Mr. No Superman. Binksy. That would have ruined Man of Steel just a little bit. Just like, like it ruined Superman. It's like it ruined Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, me some more Jedi. Everyone no. says that, but I'm pretty sure if they took him out, it's still weird episode one would still be a pretty shit film. Maybe if they put like 20% more Darth Vader in it and actually gave um, Peter Serafinowicz some directions and lines. And a character arc. Basically, yeah, you can't polish a turd in Star Wars. Phantom Menace is a turd. But uh, maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just for kids. Maybe kids enjoy it more than adults and teenagers. I don't know. How old were we when it came out? 14? 14, 15. We were too young for it. We were too old for it. And actually, we might have been twelve. No, I don't. No, I think we were. Oh, I don't know how old we were. What year did it come out? Nineteen ninety nine. I honestly then we don't were know. 13. Yeah, 30. so I think we were thirteen, fourteen. I still thought it was shit then, so... Oh, I remember, I didn't hate it the first time I saw it. I think I was just happy that there was a Star Wars film out. It wasn't until I watched it a couple more times and I was like, this is shit. I just remember sitting in the cinema with my mates taking the piss. No, I saw it with my dad. Yeah, and they did. I don't know that you didn't see it with me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw Attack of the Clones in the Revenge of the Sith with all of you. And I remember enjoying them, well... Sith, yeah, is good. Sith, well, I really like Terrible Attack of Sith. Story. Or Revenge of the Sith, whatever it's called. Attack of the Clones is alright. It's got a really shit love story and a boring in parts. But Sith's good. Nothing wrong with a good love story. Yeah, but Seth, George Lucas doesn't know how to write or direct a love story. If it was a love story between a man and special effects, then that, then Anakin Skywalker and Padme's relationship would be one of the most believable relationships ever put on film. But as it's not, he can't direct them properly. We'll have to wait and see if the new Star Wars movies are any good. And then we'll do a megawatt through where we watch Hell 9. No. Oh, we're I'm prepared to, to, watch, to do the Hobbit movies. I'm prepared to watch watched. Hobbit and Lord of the Rings back to back because I still like all of them. <laughs> but I once watched. No, twice I have watched all six Star Wars movies back to back. And that was enough for a lifetime. <laughs> um, I, I don't even know when I'll ever watch any of those six movies again. Yeah, I haven't watched those in the movies. It's been at least eight years since I watched any of them from beginning to end. I've occasionally watched like five minutes here, five minutes there when they're on TV. Yeah. But more than that, really. Didn't you tell me every time you were sick you used to just watch them? Yeah, so yeah. You've well, probably, you've probably seen them like two hundred times. Yeah, exactly. there's a reason I don't watch them anymore as an adult. Really, it's because yeah, I just watch. sometimes when I get ill I feel like watching them, but I never do. Yeah, any time I was sick, I'd watch them. Do we actually need to press anything? They'll just run. No, these things oh, just kill everything, and then that's it. They're just taking forever to spawn. How how can I stun a robot? It's a robot. How is it, how is it dizzy? Because you're hitting it, and it's short circuiting out, and it's Jennifer alive. Exactly. I thought they were going to remake that. Yeah, I think they still will. I think they were going to make it like hardcore. Yeah, well, they said about everything, and then it would turn out to be a PG 13. <laughs> yeah. Even though the first one would probably have been PG 13. 
or even or maybe a 15 I think it might, those might be I don't know it's back in the 80s you get away with more it was, it was, I swear there was far more swearing in like PGs back when we were kids yeah probably the robots were programmed to fight not they? they know all your moves and secrets if only Nightwing knew all his moves <laughs> if only Nightwing knew moves he's not exactly he's not aerobatic he's not just jumping around smashing shit he's punches and throws some crap I think that robot's been turned it's unturned did you keep it handy that's how you normally turn things it's not normally how you unturn things. You don't do the same thing you did again to turn something. I keep trying to do my spin attack and then remembering I don't have my fucking spin attack. Because oh. I've got the flash. I'm Rachel Doris. What? No, where is Rachel Doris? Am I Rachel Doris? Ben has been drinking again. <laughs> Indeed. She was gonna dump you anyway, Bruce. No, don't say that, Alfred. <laughs> You'll make me cry. Where's Vicky Vale? In a different film. Where's other love interests? Where's Talia? She was in it. I stabbed her. The knife was my penis. <laughs> Back with a shit team. We a good team. No, it's got Aqualad. Yeah, it's got the Flash. Yeah, it's got shit. Look at the Flash. The Flash! He can really move! Toilet Duck! Not as good as Flash! Shut up. I don't want to fight you anymore. But you must. It is your destiny. So many corridors, so, so many enemies, shit, so many enjoyment. <laughs> Indeed. Thinking about other games I could be playing. And books and TV shows. Cakes. Erotic cakes. Cakes. <laughs> Lerotica cakes. Mm -hmm. No, no Lerotica cakes. What you saying? Uh, Lerotica. I guess it's a type of Japanese born type of Japanese. What is it? Genre. I think it's where they draw women to look like girls. Oh no! Wait a minute. Lerotica. That's a. Uh, that's a. That's a sex story website or something. I don't know what I'm on about anymore. When did you? Probably, I had, I had more of a um, idea about what the fuck I was talking about before we started playing this. <laughs> yes. Or before oh, well, the if there's anything in this box, I'm going to press B! Uh, oh, what, nothing? Trixie, the tricks us. Oh, just keeps me spawning. Oh, the door open. Because we've got to kill these two dickheads. And then the door will open. Why don't they just not open the door and then we'll never be able to defeat the bad guys? Door they keep opening door doors system. for us. Doors, they can really be open. Golem! Sonic doors. Do it. Mm. What? 
Uh, I thought I did my magic attack and it didn't work, but it did do it. I just couldn't see anybody getting stunned. Die already, you fucking dickhead. Just make it end! Just make it end! When will the teacups come? <laughs> Tea parties! Is that all there is? It'd be better than this. Kill me! Cheese. That's not a doll that I've heard of. Oh, <sighs> this game should have been called Justice League Tedium, not Legacy. Indeed. Justice League? That's what it should have been called Young Justice? Or the question mark. Tedium? Yeah, exactly. Because you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to know? Like Brad? Fuck Brad. <laughs> but he's a. Uh... Brad never called me back! That way. He's on the varsity team. Plays across. <laughs> and you're just a skater girl. <laughs> he said, so you like her. So you oh, tracked him down and killed him. Worse than busted, now you're fucking on an aggro ravine. <laughs> Imagine if they combine to make some sort of super group. Busted, Busted Levine. Exactly. Ken Levine. Who the fuck is Ken Levine? The guy who makes Bioshock games. Oh well. I'm so sorry I didn't rem memorise the guy that fucking makes Bioshock. Good, you should do. You should apologise to him. I've got him on the line. <laughs> no. You've just been listening to the Nerdist podcast and now you think he's your friend. I haven't even listened to that one yet. We well, should, it's a good episode. Oh, we didn't even remember who he was. You'll probably listen to it thinking this guy's pretty cool. I loved Doom. It's not even a Doom guy. The Doom guy's someone else. Yeah. Doom guy's two guys. Well, I don't know either of their names. Exactly. Maybe it's Robin Rory. Twisty. We made Doom all along, we didn't even know it. Uh, did we? I, I don't thought, know. I thought we made get him to the group. <laughs> I thought we made fuck all. <laughs> Well, you made the maze. That is true. I made the maze. That might be on YouTube somewhere. Yeah. It is. It, it's it. been on for like four years. How many views have you got? It's had, I think, it's either 17 or 70. Either one is shit. All, almost all of our playthroughs have had more than that, and we've only been doing it a couple of weeks. Well, you should link it to this. More no. people will see it. It wouldn't really make any sense if you start trying to link your, your, your film to this. Do you like this film? Do you want to see more playthroughs <laughs> of this film? I've had a well, break. Every week I do a new commentary for it. Yeah. Oh, I remember this Miz. I remember it like it was yesterday. Mizzy, Mizzy, Miz. I thought I had some pretty hilarious stories about that made actually. The guy that fucking owned it, who we rented it from. It was insane. He lit, he was actually fucking proper mad. Mm. Like he kept, we kept interrupting us when we were trying to film, and tell us kept going on about like someone visited him from the future once, and that they're going to be coming back in like a few years to get him and take him back to the future, and all, and the shit about UFOs and then suddenly he just he just because he, he knew all the little shortcuts through the maze, yeah. so we'd be we'd, we'd, we'd be talking about a, a take and he'd just appear out of nowhere behind us. I'm fucking scared the shit out of us because he's like fucking walked through the little secret hole and crap. And then he just appeared up with his fucking boomerang. Started going, ah, oh, do you want me to show you how to throw a boomerang, boys? I'm like, yeah, sure, maybe later. It's a bit busy at the moment. It'd be hilarious if there'd and been then, a take where a boomerang had just hit an actor. I walk out of the maze to get something from the car a bit later, and he's standing there in the field with his boomerang going, how about now? Do you want to learn the boomerang, kid? <laughs> he wanted you to be his son. You should go back to that maze and see if he's been abducted yet. Or abducting. 
I'm from the future. I'll come back for you. You, just wrap you look familiar. Nah. Just wrap yourself in tin foil and say that you're a cyborg that's used one of his. I'm, I'm Grab pretty... my Walkman. Put a radiation suit on. Say my name's Darth Vader. Okay. Sorted. What was that? It was me switching out at the Superboy. Oh, I thought Superboy got teleported or something. Yeah. Oh my god, how is this still <laughs> the same fucking... <laughs> this is the same shit with different characters. What is the fucking point of this? Because both t- both teams are rushing towards each other. So we, we all just go in the same entrance. Because we arrived later. We were too busy... Plugging a hole. Helping Superboy get his spandex on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does look very uh, League of Superheroes. Oh shit. That's what I said, League of Superheroes. Well, hopefully we'll get in close to the end. I'm sure it'll only crash another seven times. Then we can do our hard playthrough. No. That's the playthrough where we take Viagra and play the game. No. <laughs> Because I play all my games on hard. Lovely. Well, I'm hard. <laughs> uh, oh. Enemies are so shit. This place is quite tidy for an ancient temple. Well, I presume that Claron has been cleaning it. He, what, he did a fucking Fantasia and got all the brooms. Yeah, exactly. Because whatever creature you're summoning, you don't want it. It'd be it'd be embarrassing if it turned up and it was a shit on. Do you think demons care about that type of thing? I think they care more than anyone else does. They live in hell. They want a nice, tidy place. Once they got to get out of hell, they don't want to. No, they want to be somewhere nice and tidy. Imagine the hell's not tidy. They probably do strip down there. Oh, I've seen the way that uh, that hell's represented in the. Uh, Claron. Yeah, but ninety percent of all of the the conceptions about obviously it's all boxes, it's not real. But ninety percent of all the modern day imaginings here, of that. hell um, don't even come from the Bible. They're just from like later stories. Mm. In the Bible, there's no, there's nothing about like uh, Satan ruling ruling hell or anything. He's he's trapped in there just like any other sinner. Yeah, and the same nice, for all the fallen it? angels. Well, that's in that's in Dante. Uh. But the whole the whole nine circles and everything that's from Dante and the whole different levels getting different sins, that's all Dante. Yeah, no, that's Demons all Dante. torturing people, that's all Dante. There's, the Bible, literally the description is it is a place a place of pain and brimstone or something like that. And that's it. That's literally the only description of it. Well maybe Dante got talking with an angel. An angel named Cass. We don't know. We don't write fan fiction. We don't read fan fiction. Exactly. We read real books. And the real books read us. We sleep on real books. Last in the real book. That would be a different movie. Indeed. Equally as weird, just different. Well, it's just him dating a big book. Yep. Still an animal object. It depends That's on what big is book it, it was, though, yeah. Big book of. It's the ultimate collection of Where's Wally. It's big book of Buffy Sex. You haven't written that yet. So all in my mind. Okay. I didn't really even realise what's her name was down. Who? Martian. She's not. But well, I'm about to be. She was about to be down. Oh, she was down and I brought her back. No, you didn't. You didn't. Shit. Yeah, I didn't see it. Didn't yeah. happen. We'll, we'll, when we rewatch this in 3D. What are you talking about? Come here. Come here a minute. What? Yes, master. Do you want some cornbread? Yeah, I do actually. Well, don't make so. I don't even know what's in cornbread. Cornbread. Corn. And bread. Bread isn't an ingredient. <laughs> well, it is in cornbread. You take you take some sweet corn, green giant corn. Who is it that did that sketch? Oh, in the stand-up was talking about pie is not an ingredient. I don't know. What was that? Was I think that must be Greg Davis. <laughs> Probably what we're talking about. Means pies, no, he's he's talking about he's having an argument with someone. 
that he knows he's a fucking idiot and he says to him you know pie is not the only thing they put in there Greg and Greg's like what the fuck are you talking about pie isn't an ingredient and then has to try to explain to the guy that pie isn't an ingredient and, he, and then by, like using metaphors like he starts talking about when well, you put lasagna it's got this that and that and he goes yeah but pie is not lasagna is it let's go forwards <laughs> Oh, let's go forwards. We'll have to go around there anyway, probably. Oh, let's go forwards. It's not about exploring. We're not drawing an explorer. This isn't a game where exploring adds to the story or makes it better. What story? Exactly. I assume the last, well, maybe the second to last boss will be Lex Luthor, and then whatever he's summoned. No, I don't think Lex Luthor. It's gonna be. We saw Lex dealing shit, and he hasn't. We haven't fought him yet, so. I don't think we'll fight him at all. This isn't Eisenberg. even my final wig. We need to defeat Jesse Eisenberg. Shouldn't be too hard. Trap behind a vase. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus. Oh no, it's his final boss. Hopefully. Yeah, break the gears to move this way. Push something, then smash something. Oh. What a surprising mission. I didn't expect that objective. It's exhilarating. Mm. It's like it's, it's, it's like we're not even bothered. I'm not even bothered to try to beat up the enemies at the minute. I'm just pushing. Pushing real good. Yeah, well, that's why the enemies aren't on you because I'm beating them. <laughs> well, maybe uh, Marsha Man, I don't know. Miss Marsha's beating the shit out of them. I mean, she's not, but maybe she is. I can't even pan up and see what it is. I don't think we have to run over. It was about it. Just have to get over to the other side. Why did the statue cross the chicken? Because it was finger licking. <laughs>